This is Hair Growth 101. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. If you're new, then welcome. Hey, my name's Jodie. I'm so glad you clicked on my video because today I'm going to be sharing with you how I grew my hair. So I hope you're okay. I get asked how I grow my hair and how my hair is so long on the daily on the internet by strangers by my friend like everyone asks all the time and i thought it was about time i sat down and just shared everything that personally has worked for me and hopefully will work for you too so you can also join the long luscious hair club because it's a gl good club to be in it's literally my pride and joy having like healthy long beautiful hair so if you do want to know how to grow your hair and what worked for me and all the secrets and tips and tricks that i've learned then please keep watching guys i've took this video so seriously i've literally got notes i've got products i've been filming this video for about two weeks or like the the snippets of what i do to my hair and everything so this is literally like an in-depth video of everything that you guys need to know in order to grow your hair what spurred my little hair growth little journey on was lockdown so at the start of 2020 my hair was like this it was unhealthy it had bleaching it wasn't growing like it was really dull and it got greasy maybe every two days i was washing it like every two to three days and it was just in a bad way and then this is it today so i wash it about every seven to eight days it doesn't get greasy it's super healthy and yeah so that's the comparison before we get into it so you, you can see what we're starting with i've roughly measured and i think that i've probably grown it about 10 inches it is obviously hard to give you an exact measurement but my hair was maybe like just above my nipple like maybe here and now it's literally like grazing the bum cheek so it's growing my whole stomach and i've measured it and it's roughly nine to ten inches so yeah it's basically how i grew my hair 10 inches <laughs> so the number one tip that i can give you and if you're not going to listen to anything else i tell you in this video listen to this and you will see results you won't see the best results without doing everything but this one thing you can do will change your hair game completely and this is leaving your hair as long as physically possible until you wash it each week it just means that all your hair oils do their job and obviously the least the less you wash the better it is for your hair so i now go around seven to eight days without washing my hair and i i know a lot of people always say like oh but it's going to get greasy ease yourself in so one week leave it four days the next week leave it five days then the next week leave it six days so when i wash my hair once a week i also do a weekly hair mask and i've used a lot of hair masks the last few years and um, i'll run through some of my favorites but what i'll do is I'll put a little over screen of me doing it now. I basically will either wet it or do it dry, put a hair mask all through my hair, put it in a little bun, sleep in it, leave it in for 24 hours. I honestly would recommend leaving it in as long as possible. If I know I'm having like a day at home and I'm not going anywhere, it's usually a Sunday I'll do it. I'll just put the hair mask in, go about my life. I'll do a sleep back bun. And honestly, with most hair masks, you can't even tell that you've got one in. It just looks like you've got a banging bun in. So my favorite hair mask right now is the hair food from Garnier. And it's the ultimate blend nourishing. And I just get it in banana. And I put this all through my roots. And I always like to make sure that I put a lot here, like at the front of my hair. Um, I just find that that's where I get most breakage. Because I went through a phase of loving the scrape back buns. Like every day. And I was scraping the back with oil and um, mousse. And it was quite unhealthy. So this is a really good one. It's super affordable. I don't didn't want to jump on this and like act like I buy really expensive products because I really don't like so everything super affordable mostly drugstore this is literally like three or four pound from home bargains B&M you can get it from most places some other hair masks that I've loved using is the Coco and Eve one the Colour Wow Money Mask which is like in collaboration with Chris Appleton and also Primark have got um one with oh I can't think of his name Andrew Fitzsimmons 
they are all ones that I've used and with your hair mask you want to leave it in as long as possible like I can't stress that fact enough I've had mine in this week for literally two days because I knew I was going to be in the house all day so I've washed this fresh last night for this video it just leaves it so much more shiny it gives it all the nutrients and the condition and like all the hydration it needs to be really healthy I feel like we're all about skincare routines but I feel like hair can sometimes just be sort of left to the side and I have tried over the last couple of years to really build up a good hair care routine. So in terms of shampoo and conditioner I've been using the whole Garnier set so I use the hair food banana and coconut shampoo and conditioner and I always do two shampoos and one conditioner. So I'll wash my mask out, I'll shampoo once and then I'll also go in for scalp brush, which I'll mention in a minute. And then I'll do another shampoo, wash it out. And then I'll, what I'll do is, is squeeze my hair. Not obviously dry because it's bringing wet in the shower. But I'll squeeze out all the excess water in the shower. Um, and then I'll put my conditioner in. And I just remember reading once that your hair can't take in the full conditioner benefits if it's like really wet. You have to like wring it out a little bit for it to sort of take the hydration. I did fill my hair dry in sort of routine, so that will be over the screen, but I do use this Coco Neve Leave-In Conditioner. This is really good. It's got really good benefits. This particular leave-in conditioner helps with frizz, breakage. It also adds like a protection for the UV light. So this one is really good, but I'm sure you can also get some other really good leave-in conditioners, but this one is one personally that I've been using. And I also really love the Coco Neve Like a Virgin Hair Oil. So I've sort of been using these as a little duo. This also provides heat protection and it also has coconut oil, papaya and prickly pear plus hyaluronic acid which leaves you with soft and shiny hair. So I will link all these products that I show you in this video down below. But if you want more of an affordable hair oil, which is also really good, I love the Pantene ones. They do two different ones. This is the Keratin Protect one, and this is a repair and protect. I just run a few pumps of this through wet hair, through dry hair. If I want like a little bit of extra shine throughout the week, I'll just add it. And it's, it just makes your hair more resistant to breakage. So, hair care products. Woo. I only really use these in recent months but I can't recommend enough. Mine is just from a brand called Carla. I got it from TK Maxx actually. There's so many in there, they're really affordable. This was around five pound I believe. And like I previously mentioned, on my first shampoo, I just go around my whole head like I'll have shown you in the clip. I do all underneath, all around my like sort of face frame all throughout my hair and one it's really good for your scalp because it exfoliates gets rid of a lot of dead um like cells on your skin and dead skin but the best thing for hair growth is obviously hair cell stimulation and this is what this does so it basically like stretches and stimulates all your hair cells which stimulate hair growth and new follicles to grow as minimal heat as possible i know before i started sort of grow my hair and dedicate myself to this process because it is something you really have to sort of put yourself into else you're not going to see the results i would maybe put heat on my hair four times a week probably in the past i've added heat every single day i try now to only use heat maybe once to twice a week tops finding like heatless hair styles and ways to style your hair without using it is the best advice i can give you i love using the dressing gown and do like dressing gown curls they don't do like full head of curls but I don't add any extra curls when I do it, like especially around the face, they're always really bouncy. So learn how to do that. Another really good way of styling your hair without heat is using like Dutch braids and French braids. You can do one, you could do two down, and it gives you that like wavy beach look that you would get using like a mermaid waver. There's also so many styles like on TikTok that you can type in and find heatless styles. So I love doing like the little bunches, um, like plaits anything there's so many styles now i feel like there's no excuse to be using like curlers every day like we can definitely find new ways to style our hair without the damaging heat 
one way to really stop breakage which is obviously what you want to avoid if you do want to grow your hair super long is not scraping it back so much and so tightly and like using products that are literally like stripping your hair back i definitely went for a phase probably like this time last year i loved like the scrape back ponies and the scrape back buns and they are really good for greasy days but now i leave those hairstyles for like the last couple of days of my hair again something that me and my hairdresser have spoke about a lot is how to sleep with your hair in like the best most healthy way and that is for me and what my hairdresser has told me in just like a loose plait i know if you get extensions they tell you a lot to like just sleep with your hair in a very like loose low plait um but no one ever really told me so that's what i do most nights i never sleep with it in a bum because it just pulls and obviously you get breakage what we want to avoid so yeah a little plait at the back of your head i sleep in and then in the morning i'll wake up and i like i'll have a nice wave it's super good again like a really nice and um, way to style your hair with no heat i typically have my hair cut I, I, I am definitely due a cut right now. I like to aim for maybe every two to three months. It just keeps your hair really fresh. And I've personally never really understood the whole, like, you have to have it cut for it to grow. But it does make sense because when you start to get split ends and you just let them, like, leave, you basically, when you get your split ends and you just let them be and, like, you don't get them cut, obviously it just splits higher and higher and higher. And then instead of them just like snapping the split end up, your split end might like grow up to here and then you're losing all that length, if that makes sense. So I just, I go to my hairdresser and say like, can you take off the least amount as possible? They know what I'm like. They know I don't want to go in and have like a bob cut. Like I say what I need, but typically it's like an inch. Um, and it just keeps my hair feeling really healthy. I definitely am due when I'm going to hopefully book in for next week, but just keeps my hair feeling really healthy making sure that i'm hitting all my vitamins for the day and also obviously in a really healthy balanced diet so vitamins that i take daily is cmos and this is really good for hair growth it's good for your hair your nails your skin and i've been taking this now for around six months and honestly i feel like i'm reaping the benefits in a lot of ways but especially with my hair growth i also take cod liver oil i take magnesium and i take turmeric i had to remember what that one was then um and they're just vitamins that i take every day I feel like they all have different benefits so definitely do your research but vitamins is a really good way of making sure that your body's getting all the nutrients that it needs to be able to literally grow your hair so i don't i try not to use many bubbles i try to just use scrunchies they're just a lot like kinder on your hair they don't pull as much they're not as tight obviously some hairstyles need a bobble but if i can get away with just using a little like soft scrunchie that's going to be really kind to my hair i always try to again just using little claw clips it just like eradicates the risk of any breakage and it just like is a lot looser on your hair i actually got this brush a while ago but i've used it ever since and it's the wet brush and i believe this is from tk max it has got a bit of hair in so excuse that but I try not to use like a brush like this, like a paddle brush when my hair's wet. I only, I'll either use like a really wide tooth comb or something like this, which is literally made for your hair. Again, it just stops breakage. It runs through your hair really nicely. If you do want to um, brush through it while it's wet um, and it's super bendy and I, I guess that's why it's better for your hair. Um, it's got a lot less bristles on and it doesn't like pull as much of your hair out. Right? So that was from TK Maxx, I think. And then when my hair's wet, I don't like to put it in like a normal towel. I have this microfiber one from Coco and Eve. I find that these towels also dry my hair a lot quicker than like a normal towel would. The microfiberness of it, I don't know how to explain that, sort of soaks up a lot more of the moisture, which means therefore I need less heat on it if I am going to dry it. I have lost count of the tips now, but I used to think when I was younger that drying your hair using heat was really bad for you, and I used to let it like air dry a lot of the time because I used to think like, oh, like I don't want to put the heat on it, and I do partially do that, but I remember having a conversation with my hairdresser, and I was like, oh, like I'm really trying to grow my hair, I want it to be super healthy, um, and in and i was like oh so i'm not drying my hair using heat and she basically explained to me that 
she was like it's not a bad thing but she said if you think about it when you're drying your hair down like this it like closes all your hair follicles down um, and it like sort of puts them all in the same direction it makes your hair a lot softer and like healthier because it's all sort of smooth down and she said if you sleep with it wet your hair is like do you, it's hard to explain but i remember being like oh like that okay i don't feel bad about drying my hair so i do use heat to dry my hair obviously i use heat protection and i do try and get as much of the moisture out of it using like that um coco and eve hair towel and the last tip i'm going to share is no dye which if you would have told me when i was like 16 that i would have my full natural color i probably wouldn't believe you because i loved highlight i had full blonde hair at one stage i had balayage i had like just highlights going through and my hair was so unhealthy from the bleach now i know that if you guys are blonde you're probably not going to hear this but i guess if you're blonde and I guess if you do really want to dye your hair you just have to make sure that you're making up from the damage you're doing with the bleach with other hair products like my best friend she has her hair bleached and she's got like highlights going through and whatever and her hair is in a really good condition but I feel like if you're extensively and like constantly adding bleach to your hair it's just not going to be very healthy mine especially wasn't like i had bleach like my balayage was really high so my whole hair i had to like grow out and now i'm completely natural like i had no idea at one point what my natural hair color would be because i just was having like root like right, i was having root um i was having dye put on my roots and then i was having like balayage and it was just a whole mess of hair but i've completely let it grow out and i honestly can say my hair's never been in better condition i hope you guys all really enjoyed this video and i hope that if you are trying to grow your hair that my little tips helped you obviously this is just my personal experience with growing my hair and i just thought i'd share with you what does help me and i hope i covered everything i really hope i did because i've been doing this video for literally two weeks so i hope that if there's something i haven't mentioned i would have already thought of it please let me know if you have any tips that help you grow your hair i mean i'm not finished growing it i want it to literally be like past i mean past my bum is that too long i don't know i look at like carly bible and i just love how long her hair is and that is what i've strived for so i hope this video did help you if it did smash the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram and tiktok because i'm posting on there every single day so you can keep up with me so i'll catch you in my next video guys thanks for watching and if you do have any other tips for any other watchers then don't forget to just drop them down below and we can all grow our hair together love you guys bye